Hi, I'm Judith Patterson. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Texas, and it's Friday, so that means it's time for me to show you how to create another card from the catalog. I started this week on my blog by creating a birthday card with this cute delivering cheer um, Christmas set, but it makes fun birthday cards too. So I thought today I'd make a card out of the catalog using this same set. I'm going to be making this card on page 32 of the July to December mini catalog. At the front of it looks like this. If you don't have a catalog and you're in the United States and you don't have a demonstrator, um, let me know if you would like one and I'd be happy to get one in the mail to you. I get so many ideas for cards and projects out of our catalogs because they are just full of inspiration and of course great products. Okay, so let me flip the camera around to my desk and I will get started showing you how to create this card. So the first thing I have is um, of course my Stamparatus because um, these stamps are, you, you piece them together, kind of like a paper doll or a puzzle. So it's easier when using stamps like this to use the Stamparatus because it helps to line everything up just right. So I've already got my stamps positioned on here. I'm going to go ahead and begin by inking up her legs and the bottom of her jacket with this Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Now when I color today, I'm using watercolor pencils and I'm not using any actual watercolors. I'm just using the pencils. I'm, um, but if you were to use blender pens or water painters or paint brushes to go over the watercolor pencils, I would suggest you using Stazon ink instead of Memento ink, since the Memento is water-based and the Stazon is not. Okay, I'm gonna move my magnet down now to the bottom part of this piece. And this piece is um, two and a quarter inches by four and a half inches tall. Make sure that's lined up. A little close. I'm gonna bring this down just a smidge. Whoa. There we go. That looks good. So I'm using that same memento tuxedo black to ink up the top portion now. The other great thing about using the Stamparatus is if you don't get your stamp inked up um, as well as you would like, you can always re-stamp and it'll position it back in the exact same spot. These photopolymer stamps can be a little sticky, which is why I'm using my bone folder to make sure everything stays in place. I'm going to move by that magnet again and I'm going to flip this plate over because I have her stockings already positioned here. And I'm going to use my real red ink to stamp these. So now I'm just going to set this aside. And I'm going to get out my watercolor pencils. So in the catalog, they used um, Garden Green because they were using the painted Christmas designer series paper. I don't have that designer series paper. So instead, I chose to use the Whimsy and Wonder Specialty Designer Series paper. It's specialty because some of the sides have the silver foil 
um, on it and and sometimes it I mean it's not they're not all stripes but but the silver is what makes it specialty but I'm using this side and this is mossy meadow so my base is mossy meadow and I'm using old olive instead of garden green to color the tree so if you do decide to use the painted Christmas designer series paper, you're also going to want the watercolor pencils assortment too, because that's what actually has the garden green in it. So I'm just going to lightly color over everything. I'm using early espresso um, for the tree trunk. And I'm using old olive for the tree, basic gray for her jacket, and then I'm using real red for her mittens and, well, yeah, just her mittens. And like I said before, you can go over to give this a more watercolored look. You can go over this with blender pens or um, aqua painters and just a little bit of water makes this really look like it was watercolored on here i would change the ink to stays on ink if you decide to do that and i would use either the watercolor paper it's fluid 100 watercolor paper or um, the shimmery white cardstock is also a good choice if you're wanting to use those. If you decide to keep with this um, cardstock, just go really lightly whenever you use the blender pens. I wouldn't use the aqua painters at all if it were me. Um, but if you do decide to use the blender pens, just be easy with how much you're going over everything. handy that the bottom part of this stamp other than the jacket everything is already colored in between the little stocking stamp and then the boots look great just as they are but I love the shading that is included in the stamp for those boots because it looks they just look shiny and new Okay, so then the next piece that I'm going to use is this three quarters by two and a quarter inch piece of basic white again. I'm going to stamp Sending Love and Christmas Cheer. This is also from the Delivering Cheer stamp set. And I'm stamping it towards the left because I'm going to use the banner punch on the right. a little crooked but not too bad so whenever I use this punch I always turn it upside down so I can see what I'm doing and I turn my cardstock upside down too I want to make sure I'm getting it in the right slot then I'll turn it upside down I just want to make sure that I'm not cutting off any of my words and I also am trying to make sure that it's perfectly centered and there we go so now it's time to just start putting this card together Use 
use my multi-purpose glue. And at first I wondered if it would work on the back of this with all of this silver, but it works like a dream. liquid glue again on the back of this piece now I'm going to take linen thread and I'm going to tie a bow in it and then I'll cut it off of my spool here. Just tie a quick and easy bow. I don't want it too big, but I wanna make sure it's big enough to poke out from behind my banner. Perfect. So now, Go ahead and cut it off. I'm gonna use a mini glue dot to stick it to the back of this banner piece. Just like to stick it to the glue dot and then I can pull it off that way. Okay, and so now I'm going to use my Stampin' Dimensionals and I'll attach that a little bit more securely. My dimensionals. For some reason, they keep tearing off of that packaging. There we go. And that is really more dimensionals than you need on the back of something this size, but I like to use a lot of dimensionals. Okay, then we're gonna place this right here and go ahead and trim off these ends a little bit better. I don't like things hanging off the end of my card. I don't know about you but that drives me crazy. Okay, there we go. And then for the inside, um, I'll add a basic white four inch by five and a quarter inch piece. And um, I'll probably add something else to that, but if you wanna see what it is, you'll have to click on over to my blog. I'll show you the inside of it there. And I'll leave that link in the description below. If there's a card that you would like to see made from our catalogs, just let me know and I'll do my best to create a video for you. Um, it may not be exactly like the card in the catalog, but it'll be close and it'll give you an idea of how you can recreate it at home. I hope that you're having a great Friday and that you have a wonderful weekend. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.